bug? What's in the bug? What's in the bug? Oh, good stuff. Apparently we do this on video. <clears throat> sure. When it's flushed on yeah. camera. <laughs> yeah, I do. Oh, whole case. And this is our Slosh Superman and Legion of Superheroes full case unboxing. So cuddly. Mm -hmm. Take the clothes off. Yeah! Yeah! Do it, babe. No! 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 Cow drops! No! Would you ooh? You can't just ooh. I can ooh all I no, want. No, you can't. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Yes, I can. No. Persuader okay. is what I was ooing. Oh, okay. Super cool. Apparently, you're the queen of super rares. Um, what the? Oh, hey, look, health spawn. Oh god, health spawn. I hear he's good. Is he any good, Amber? Fuck that health spawn. <laughs> uh, this also came with the uh, uh, championship star girl, Mr. Majestic, Ty Rock, and my girl. I got a toy airplane, chameleon girl, yeah. Timber Wolf and Blight. Chameleon girl. Chameleon, what, did I stutter? Chameleon girl. Eraser, yeah. eraser. You win. I know. already open. <laughs> uh, Orion, Mr. Majestic, Tyrock, Polar Boy, and Blight. Is it actually Polar Boy? It is actually Polar Boy. Wait, I haven't checked the dial yet. And yeah. Yeah, we had one a uh, one little issue with Polar Boy, another Polar Boy being Timberwolf's dial. Well and Timberwolf figure or not figure. It was Polar Boy's figure, dial, and card, but the top of the dial was Timberwolf. Mm. Alright, what do we got here? We got Saturn Girl, Phantom Girl, uh -huh. Cheetah, Gates, and Bizarro. Oh we got Cosmic Boy. Mino and Bizarro, what? Cosmic Boy? Yep. Uh a Damonite. Amethyst, Tachyon again, and Colossal Boy! Didn't know we had Tachyon. I love me some Colossal Boy. Oh. Yeah, you would like a Colossal Boy. I would. <laughs> hey, look, there's the main three with Lightning Lad. I got Lightning Lad, Emerald Empress, Ultra Boy, Lex Luthor, hey, and the Monkey with Symbols! Yes, I love the Monkey! <laughs> You're just awkward. I'm very tired. The strange noises are going to start coming out of me. It's really... <coughs> Isn't that what I need? Uh, I got Giganta, Black Witch, for a prime. Ooh. Timberwolf, uh, Ultra Boy, and Block. And that would be the super rare prime, so that's probably not a chase in this brick. But I did get Block with her, which would have been an awesome seal pack, I think. No, they, uh, both of them were more than 300 together. That's a shame. Okay, get those All right. You're a noob. You're a noob. I'll noob you. All what right. What the hell is this? What the fuck? Computo? Not even kidding. <laughs> not even, I'm not even kidding. <laughs> what the fuck is that? We need to either read more comics or... We're getting what the fuck is I think, this? I think your brick just got rickrolled. <laughs> uh, so I got Computo. Oh my god, I did too! <laughs> uh, Wildfire, Lightning Lad, Saturn Girl, Cosmic Boy. Hey look, I got the original three in the same pack. Uh, I got Computo, Ultra Boy, Polar Boy, Triple Good Girl, and an Airplane! Yeah! So the only thing that kind of sucks about the toys is that they take up a character spot. 
so... Yeah, I don't remember if the bats did that, but I have this strange feeling they did. Correct me if I'm wrong, we only bought one brick of Batman and it was many, many, many moons ago. So, you can't be too positive on that one. Alright, so we got Mr. Miracle, oh, Mr. Miracle and Big Barda duo. Uh, Calabac, a Daemonite, and Gates, as well as Giganta. Um, are Daemonites any good with, uh, health spots? Fuck uh, yes. Uh, prior to us opening this, we did open another brick. Um, we pulled a health spot, and I chose to choose a team in a three-player game. Grandy! <laughs> no! I am storytelling! That was a good day. That's so mine. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> Darman, Ferrock, Lady Tron, Fang, Triple Kick Girl. Colossal Boy, Amethyst, Lady Tron, Science Police Officer, and Dark Side. He's pretty cool. It's all black. Navy blue. Really dark, really dark blue. It's sometimes she is very, very dark red. <laughs> Careful. <laughs> Alright, what do we got in here? Uh, I got a, more Drew. Oh, fuck, he's huge, eh? God damn it. Why did... You have to assemble him. Yes, yeah, you have to put his arms on. Uh, Glorith, Light Ray, Polar Boy. I, thought, I remember Light Ray being really good. And, uh, oh, we got the car! Yay. I got a toy car! Yay, race car! I got my last one. Race car, race car, race car! My last one. Alright, Glorith, Light Ray, Shrinking Violet, Saturn Girl, and... Monkey with Symbols! Hmm. Uh, Shadow Lass, Dawnstar. There's a Shadow Lass in this set? Yeah. <gasps> Them boobs. I love it, girl. Do you wear it? Yep. Uh, Sensor Girl, Monkey with Symbols, and Triple K Girl. Uh, so in my brick, I got one, two, three super rares, and one of my super rares was a prime. I believe. Tape doesn't like me. I struggle so much. Benzaro! Mano! Mano! That's funny. I haven't seen guy. him in a long time. No. Mr. Majestic, Phantom Girl, and Lightning Light. <coughs> <laughs> Mano. Fuck that character. Mano. That means the Fatal Five is all in here, isn't it? Maybe. Who's missing? Because we got... Purple Dude. Validus. Validus, yeah. Emerald Empress. Mano. We don't have a Validus yet. We do not. Yep, we did not get a Mad Validus yet. So, could you do me a favor and whip out my big purple Ooh, monster in this pack? Uh, Cheetah, Lady Tron, Science, Police Officer, and Saturn Girl. But Black Manta. Hey, Black Manta, Legion of Doom. Doom. Doom, da doom, doom, doom. Oh, man. Zara, you're such a weirdo. This is why when we did Wolverine and the X-Men, I pre-cut all my boxes because Tate hates me. Alright. Cosmic Boy, Giganta. <laughs> uh, I got the Chase Superman. <laughs> this is so mine. Uh, Mr. Miracle. <laughs> Giganta. Sensor Girl. Is that Princess Projector? I think so. Okay. Um. <laughs> Superboy. Fuck Ryan. Um. <laughs> Love you. There you go. Alright. They're both open for you. Alright. <laughs> I didn't look in them. There. I want a Validus. Give me a Validus. I want a fucking Validus. Fuck your shit. Alright, Daxamite, Timberwolf, Gate, Hit, Thano, and Universo. I think Universo is the other Fatal Five, right? Uh -huh. Yep. No. Yes, no. Pretty sure. Um, 
I can't remember when I did my review on it. Another Daxonite, Shrinking Violet, Block, Dawnstar, and Telus. Who? Telus. Oh, the, the lizard guy that, what's his name was talking about? Yeah. Uh, he's got a bowl on his no, head. No, he's Legion of Super Bowl. It's my bad. He's got a bowl on his head. Yep. He's got big bowls. Yeah. Alright. Right. So. I'm missing a couple of the figures we were looking for. My Super Rares were Telus. Uh, Solomon Bundy, and Tachyon. Oh, and Persuader. So I got four super rare. Jesus. And a chase? And a chase. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. There we go. Overall, this stuff's really cool looking. Computer. <laughs> I don't even know what he is. I'm such an ass. I feel like a baker now, eh? It's like, I don't know what the fuck's a computer. Alright, so that's the Computer. A Legion of Superheroes and Legion of Supervillains. Uh, Free action and choose an opposing character within eight squares. The chosen character must be holding an object, be within one square of an object, or be assigned a relic or resource. Place an ID token on the chosen character's card. When the computer uses that word or perplex, you may target characters with an ID token anywhere on the map. Pretty cool. Very cool. All right. All right, guys. We gotta sort this shit out. Thanks for watching. Alright guys, uh, so we are actually going to take a closer look at the sculpts for this set since uh, with our new camera setup you guys don't actually get to see too much of what we're unboxing. Uh, so this is going to be our closer look. So we start off with number one. Uh, this is Cosmic Boy. And he's got the Legion of Superheroes team ability, 90 points. Um, he's got flight, indomitable, 8 range, starts off with 10 movement. 9 attack and his special power, 17 energy shield deflection, and 3 damage with a white power. Now I'm not going to be going into the dials and what they do, I just want you guys to actually get a uh, sense of what these sculpts and figures look at because they're doing a really good job at actually getting these sculpts looking good. And next up is Saturn Girl, and uh, so she's actually flying on her sculpt. Um, and she is Legion of Superheroes team ability, uh, 94 points. She has flight and 8 range. Um, starts off with 10 movement mind control, 10 attack, psychic blast, 17 uh, defense with super senses, and 2 attack with perplex. And next off to finish off the uh, founding members is uh, Lightning Lad. Uh, he's got a pretty cool lightning bit around him in the back there. And he has uh, Legion Superheroes team ability. He's 104 points. Um, he has flight, 8 range. He starts off with uh, 10 attack running shot. Uh, sorry, 10 movement running shot, 11 attack psychic blast, 17 toughness, and 3 damage range combat expert. And up next we have the science police officer. And uh, he... Uh, Pretty standard futuristic looking cop. He actually uh, made a joke in our other unboxing that he looked like the um, cop from Futurama. Uh, so he's got a 8 movement with sidestep, 16 defense with toughness, uh, his 9 attack doesn't have any powers, and uh, 2 damage with a white power. He is PD, team ability, and he's 45 points. Alright, next up we have number five is Daxamite. Um, so standard flying cloak, very dark. And uh, so he has no team ability. He can be played at either 100 points or 122 points. Uh, he does have an improved targeting that's going to be ignore hindering. Uh, he has flight, six range. He starts off with uh, 10 movement running shot. Uh, 10 attack energy explosion, 17 defense with invulnerable, and 3 damage. That's the Daxmite. 
and he is uh, he's an A, so he has the um, the common prime is uh, mon L. So I'm really gonna see what Okay. And next up, the lovely triplicate girl. Uh, not much going on with her sculpt or her color scheme there. Uh, she is Legion of Superheroes team ability. She is 71 points. Uh, she does have a trait. Um, she's flying with no range. She's got uh, 9 movement with uh, plasticity. 9 attack with no powers. 16 defense with willpower. And uh, 2 attack, or sorry, 2 damage with empower. And next up, we've got Shrinking Violet. And uh, they actually did make a point with the uh, translucent girl behind her to show that uh, Shrinking Violet does shrink down. And she is Legion of Superheroes team ability, 75 points. She flies. She's tiny size. Um, and she's got 10 movement with stealth, 10 attack, 19 defense, and uh, which actually goes up to a 20 defense when at range because of her tiny size. And uh, two damage without wit. And we've got Phantom Girl. So she's kind of coming out of this stone pyramid here. Uh, showing off a lot of boob. And uh, she's got the Legion of Superheroes team ability. 72 points. Uh, she flies. She's got zero range. She's got 12 movement with the super special power. 10 attack with the special power. 17 defense with super senses. And... Uh, two damage with shape change on her. And next up, ah, all out of order. Um, sorry. Next up, we have the Blight. Uh, these are generic um, monster guys from Legion Superhero. Uh, they recently showed up in, um, or recently within the last year, in New Fifty Two, attacking the um, Tamarant. Um. <clears throat> So uh, he's got a calculator team ability, he's 65 points, uh, he's got a trait, he's indomitable, 6 range, starts off with uh, seven, or sorry, bleh, 9 movement stealth, uh, 10 attack with incapacitate, 17 defense with toughness, and 3 damage with shape change. So these are uh, kind of swarm guys, you're going to want to play them all together in generics. And we've got Polar Boy! Uh, so he's got his frozen arm fist, ice fist there. And he is Legion of Superheroes team ability, 78 points. Uh, flight, trait, 6 range with 2, uh, targets. He's got an 8 movement with sidestep, 10 attack with a special power, 17 defense with barrier, and, uh, 3 damage with enhancement. A lot of these uh, Legion guys, uh, at least the common ones, are lower points, so they uh, fill up a fair amount of your team when you're doing those. Ooh. Okay. And next up we have Sensor Girl. And the last time Sensor Girl showed up, uh, she was under the name Princess Projectra, which is actually her real name. Um, she's got Legion of Superheroes team ability, 75 points. Uh, she has improved an improvement. Uh, I don't know whether it's targeting or movement, uh, a trait. She's got, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, flight, five range. Uh, she's got 10 movement with stealth, 10 attack with incapacitate, 17 defense with barrier, and a three damage with a special power. Next up, another Legion guy, we've got Tyrock. What's here? It's kind of Come at me, bro, pose. Uh, Tyrock is from the Legion of Superheroes team ability. He's 98, 96 points. Uh, flight, six, ra six range with two targets. He's got running shot energy explosion. Two targets is always fun. Uh, 17 defense with super senses. And uh, three damage with leadership. So he's a good, uh, good low point leadership guys to put along with all those low point, all those other low point Legion guys. And next up, we have Lady Tron from the Wildcat universe. Uh, she has no team ability. She's 99 points. 
Uh, she has Sharpshooter. She's Indomitable. She's got five range with two targets. Running Shot, Energy Explosion, two targets again. Uh, 11 Attack. She's got 17 Defense with uh, Invulnerable. And uh, three Damage with no power. And she looks like a uh, futuristic cyberpunk thing. And uh, next up we have a Daemonite. Um, so they got these huge, big, huge hands, little tiny hands here. Um, Daemonite, Daemonite. Okay, Daemonites have no team ability. Um, they are 50 points. Uh, he's got uh, 5 range. He's got 9 movement with charge, 9 attack with blaze claws, 17 defense with toughness, uh, 2 damage with the special power, and I know his special power is uh, shape change, and also um, if he succeeds on shape change, he gets to copy a uh, standard power from the uh, attacker, or would-be attacker. Uh, these guys are pretty, pretty good for 50 point generics. <clears throat> and next up, we've got Timberwolf. Um, not too much to his sculpt here. And he is Legion of Superheroes team ability, 97 points. He's got an improvement, uh, flight, indomitable, no range. He's got 11 movement with charge, 11 attack with super, uh, that, blades, claws, fangs, 17 defense with, uh, close combat, <clears throat> sorry, close combat reflexes. And he's got, uh, three damage with Battle Fury. Um, Battle Fury is good in, in, um, modern age. Uh, <clears throat> games right now because of the amount of mind control that's going around and super sen uh, sorry uh, shape change so uh, that battle theory allows him to ignore or not be able to be mind controlled and ignores shape change when making attacks so it's really cool and rounding off our uncom or our commons here is uh, Giganta um, and I've actually brought back the Giants who are giant, which is awesome. I love these sculpts. I love when they do Giants that are Giants. Um, it's been a long time since we've seen Giants that are actually... I was really expecting the um, Pacific Rim guys to be like that, but they didn't. So um, She has no team abilities. She's 110 points. And uh, she starts off not as Giganta, actually. So she's got six movement earthbound, which means she doesn't get her giant uh, reach or any abilities with her giant um, eight attack 16 defense and one damage with enhancement so that's the giganta okay so starting off our uncommons we have cheetah uh, cheetah has no team ability um, now I did a review on her for our blog so you guys can check that out um, I wasn't impressed with the sculpt still am not um, she's got no team ability. She's 50 points. Uh, she's got enhanced or improved movement and a trait. Uh, no range. She's got eight charge, ten or sorry, nine attack with blaze claws fangs, 16 defense with super senses and one damage, uh, which makes that blaze claws really good because either way you're either still doing one damage or you're doing more damage. Uh, that's what you want to see with someone with blaze claws. <laughs> and uh, she is also an A. And um, she is the uncommon prime, or would be the uncommon tribe. The other cheetah is the uncommon prime. Next up, we have Ultra Boy. Who's shiny? It looks like he's wearing latex. Okay. Uh, so he is the Legion Superheroes team ability. He's 165 points. He's got an improvement. Uh, flight, indomitable, six range, and a lot of white. Uh, so he has got 8 movement with a white power, 11 attack with a white power, 17 defense with a white power, and 4 damage. Uh, so you could probably expect him to do a lot of funky stuff and a lot of reading um, on this guy. And now we've got Amethyst. And uh, Amethyst is pretty, pretty pretty. Um, I like the way her cloak just kind of swishes out in the gemstone and all that stuff. Uh, she has no team ability. She's 80 points. Um, she has a trait, and uh, she's got a lot of pink. We've got 8 movement with sidestep, uh, 10 attack with precision strike, 17 defense with invincible, and 2 damage with empower. So I think they really wanted to show off the pink powers on this one. <laughs> 
Oh, and now we've got block. And uh, big, big block guy. Uh, block is leading the superhero's team ability, 155 points. Uh, he's got a trait, flight, uh, indomitable, zero range. He's got eight movement with a white power, 11 attack with super strength, 18 defense with impervious, and four damage. So you're pretty much looking at a bruiser on this guy. Next up is Wildfire. Uh, it looks a lot like Firefly from the um, Batman Arkham Origins, just the kind of fire flame stuff has projecting him. Uh, so he is Legion Superheroes team ability. He's 180 points. Uh, he's got a trait, flight, eight range with double target. Another one of those guys that's got running shot, energy explosion, two targets. Uh, so 10 on his movement, 11 on his attack, 17 defense with invulnerable, and 4 damage. Next up we have Gate, our little centipede man. I was not expecting them to use the purple centipede part for his belly. That totally threw me off. That's too... Oh, guys, if you didn't look at my preview for him, I linked a picture of the centipede monster from Night from Horrorclix Nightmares who had a purple, its exact purple belly. Um, so his portal looks pretty cool. Uh, he is Legion of Superheroes team ability, 60 points, flight, zero range, 14 movement with uh, white power, 10 attack, uh, no power, 17 defense with white power, and 2 damage on that. Look at the little centipede man. <clears throat> Next up we have Mr. Majestic is our Superman clone from the Wild Cats Wild Storm universe. And he has no team ability. He's 220 points. Um, he is a flying transporter with uh, in, an enhancement, a trait, indomitable, seven range with double target. Okay, I'm sensing a trend here. We've got another double target running shot energy explosion character. Uh, 11 movement, 11 attack, 18 defense with uh, impervious, and 5 damage with leadership. And this was actually our rare, <laughs> our rare uncommon. We only got one of these in the three books that we opened, uh, is Lex Luthor. Uh, he's got the Superman, um, Look at the left. Look at all that purple. All that purple. Um, so he's got the Superman enemy team ability and the, I believe that is the Gotham Underworld team ability. Um, and he's 150 points. He's got a trait. He's indomitable. Six range. Uh, he's got eight movement with a white power. Ten attack with psychic blast. Uh, 18 with defend on his defense. And uh, three damage with probability control. Go Lex Luthor. And next up, I'm sure you guys heard me laughing about this guy. This is Mano. Um, he really looks like a Scooby-Doo villain. I'm sorry, but he really looks like a Scooby-Doo villain. Um, he's got the uh, calculator team ability. He can be played at 65 or 100 points. Uh, he's got a trait and no range. Um, he's got 8 movement with charge, 10 attack with a white power, 17 defense with toughness, uh, three damage with exploit weakness. So that charge with exploit weakness is actually uh, pretty good on him. But Scooby-Doo villain, guys. Totally, totally Scooby-Doo villain. Next up, we've got Mr. Miracle. He's got a pretty cool uh, sculpt with him flying on his little discs there. Swishy swish. Um, he's got no team ability. He is 127 points. He's got an movement. Uh, sorry, an improvement, a trait, a flying, uh, five range with two targets. He's got 10 movement with stealth, 10 attack with incapacitate, 17 defense with super senses, and three damage with a white power. So that is the Mr. Miracle. Next up, we have Calabac. Calabac is huge. Not quite a giant, not a giant, but huge. Look at him. Look at him. He's big. Okay. Um, Calabac has no team ability. He's 150 points. Uh, he does have a trait. He's indomitable with no range. He's got 8 movement charge, 11 attack with super strength, uh, 17 defense with invulnerable, 
and four damage with uh, Battle Fury, and like I said, the Battle Fury is good for ignoring mind control and shape change. So that's pretty much what you expect out of Calabac with his big beefiness. <clears throat> And now we have Light Ray. Light Ray soaring through the air. Alright. No team ability. 124 points. He's got a trait. He flies. Uh, 7 range with 2 targets. And he doesn't have running shot or energy explosion. He does, however, have hypersonic. 12 movement. 10 attack with no powers. Uh, 17 defense with toughness. 3 damage with a white power. Next up is Therok, half machine, half man, all delay. Okay, uh, he has the calculator team ability, it's 150 points, he's got a trait, he's indomitable, he's got 8 range, so he's got a running shot, 9 in movement, 11 attack with white damage, or sorry, a white power, 17 defense with impervious, and 4 damage with perplex, it's a nice opening perplex on our Terminator man here, half machine, half man. Alright. Oh, next up, our angelic dawn star. Look at those wings. Look at those boobs. What a sculpt. Okay. And she is Legion of Superheroes team ability for 81 points. She has move, uh, she's flight, no range. She's got 12 movement with hypersonic. 10 attack with the white power, 17 defense with energy shield deflection, and 2 damage with nothing. Now, she was, um, she was also previewed with Wildfire. And uh, if I remember correctly, they have some kind of uh, power that work off of each other. And straight out of a Star Trek convention, we have... Chameleon Girl! You could probably repaint her to work on a, uh, as a Star Trek character. And I can't remember what those race of people were with blue skin and the antennas. I'm sure someone will tell me. Uh, so she has Legion of Superheroes team ability. She's 115 points. She has a trait. She's got flight with no range. Uh, 10 movement with charge, 10 attack with the white power, 17 defense with toughness, uh, 3 damage with perplex. Which is not going to be your standard perplexer at 115 points, but it's got that. Oh, I can't get over those antennas. Okay. And, uh, finishing off our uncommons is Colossal Boy. Uh, another one of the giants that showed up in the giant set when uh, these giant sculpts were first introduced. And he's big enough that you can actually see his legion ring on him. Uh, so he is Legion of Superheroes team ability. He is 154 points. His boot is kind of uh, blocking his pointage. But he's got a trait. Uh, he's got flight for his movement. He's got indomitable, no range, and of course he's giant. Uh, so he starts off as his giant. He is uh, got 10 movement with charge, 11 attack with super strength, 17 defense with impervious, and 4 damage with nothing. Expect to see this guy on the field sometime soon, because I will probably play the crap out of him. <clears throat> and starting off our rares, we have the... Stargirl that was created by the 2012 champ World Championship winner, Alex Avila, who is actually right here on her staff and put himself in the sculpt. And uh, kind of looks like she's helping him, kind of looks like he's jacking her ride, not really sure which. Uh, so she has the JSA team ability. Uh, she could get played at 75 points or 110 points. She's got flight, a trait, indomitable, 7 range. She starts off with a uh, 9 running shot, 11 attack with a white power, 17 defense with uh, toughness, and uh, 11, sorry, not 11, uh, 3 <laughs> damage with leadership. Um, and this is her 110 point dial that we're looking at there. So that is Alex Avila's Star Girl. And next up we have Starman. Um, 
So he's actually a really, oh, I didn't even notice that detail on his jacket. Um, he's got a really cool, I like the way that his um, star staff thing is making this whoosh. Uh, that was cool on his sculpt. Anyways, he's got the JSA team ability. He's 95 points. He's got a trait, flight, 8 range. It starts off with uh, 10 movement running shot, 10 movement uh, TK, 17 defense, and uh, 3 damage with perplex. Uh, now, I know he doesn't have an opening uh, defense reducer, any kind of defense power, but he is traded energy shield deflection as well as super senses. Uh, so that kind of helps out with that lack of defense there. So, I don't know. I really, this is one of my favorite sculpts for uh, this set. I really like that one. And my lovely lady and Boobs McGee, um, Shadow Lass. Uh, I was very excited, I'm sure, as you guys saw, that she was in this set. Um, yeah, with her sculpt, it looks like it's either trying to be her cloak or her manipulation over shadows not sure what they're going with there but it still looks cool um so she is legion of superheroes team ability she's 78 points she's got a trait flight uh six range starts off with 10 movement stealth 10 mo attack incapacitate 17 defense energy shield deflection and um <coughs> three damage with shape change uh the thing with the uh the lower point Legion guys, they're very utility, very much utility pieces. Um, don't have very, don't usually have very deep dials. Don't usually have a whole lot of damage reducers. Um, but they're good to put in there for things like incapacitate, perplex, outwit, uh, barrier. Um, that's pretty much what they're really good for. <clears throat> Next up, we have Glorith, who is pretty gypsified. I like in the little details on her, on her face, on her legs there. And, of course, she's got this funky portal behind her. Uh, so she is Legion of Superheroes team ability. She's 83 points. She's got a trait, flight, six range. Uh, she starts off with eight movement phasing, um, nine attack with no power, uh, <clears throat> 16 defense with toughness, and two damage with a, um, with a white damage power there. So that is Glorith. And next up, one of our more elusive rares, we only got one of these guys in our three bricks, is the Riddler. Uh, I like this sculpt for the Riddler. I think it's cool that he's just sitting on one of his Riddler jack-in-the-boxes here, um, looking all smug and shit. Uh, he is uh, 37A, so he is also the Prime. The Prime version of this is Edward Nygma. He's the Batman enemy team ability, 55 points. Uh, he's got... 8 movement stealth, 10 movement with smoke cloud, 17 defense with super senses, and 2 damage with shape change, 5 range. Um, he's just fun because his trait allows him to um, pretty much perplex anywhere on the board. Doesn't matter. Doesn't need range or line of fire. He's just that awesome. Next up is Black Manta. I also did a review on this guy, and you guys can read it on our blog. I really, really liked him. Um, I like his sculpt, too, with uh, just that little splash of water at the back there, and he's looking ready to fight. Doesn't really beat the sculpt where he's riding a um, shark that has a rocket launcher attached to its head, um, but it's still pretty cool. So he has calculated team ability. He's 97 points. He uh, has the dolphin symbol for movement. He's got a trait. He is um, indomitable. <clears throat> Five range with two targets. Starts off with sidestep and nine movement. Eleven attack with psychic blast. Uh, Seventeen defense with toughness and three damage. I really like this guy. And, of course, we have I am Bizarro. Or, sorry, me am Bizarro. Um, he's pretty cool. He's not as derpy looking as the, um, all-star Bizarro, which is kind of the last Bizarro we saw in the Superman set. I really didn't like that sculpt. I like this sculpt. He's really goofy looking, but he's really cool. Um, so Bizarro has the Superman enemy team ability. He can be anywhere from 25 to 300 points, depending on how much you want to put inside him. Um, that's all explained in his trait. He's got an improvement. He's got flight. Indomitable 6 range. Uh, now click 1, even though he's got a full 
12, 12 quartile. Um, quick one has <clears throat> hypersonic with nine movement, nine attack with mm, super, sing, stu, super strength, 17 defense with super senses, and three damage with shape change. Uh, now, he is a complete rainbow random dial. Like, I can't even explain him. You guys got to check this guy out. He's really awesome. Um, he'll probably he'll probably get seen once or twice in one of our videos. So, look out for him. And that's Bizarro. And next up is my lovely, lovely Emerald Empress. Um... I just, I like this sculpt, I like this design, I like this character, um, a little butch looking, but what can you do with tiny, tiny plastic, uh, and also the Emerald Eye of Ekron comes off, um, so she has Calculator and Mystics, she can get played at either 115 points or 190, uh, she has a trait, she's got Flight, Indomitable, 8 range, and uh, she starts off with 10, 10 movement <clears throat> running shot and 11 attack pulse wave, which is awesome. Um, 18 defense with imp uh, impervious and 4 damage with outwit. Uh, she's got a really, really strong dial here. Um, she's well worth her points. Um, I prefer her actually at the 115 point line. Uh, which starts off with uh, 9 movement running shot, 11 attack psychic blast, 17 defense with super senses, and the 3 damage without wit. Um, <clears throat> and the Emerald Eye of Ekron gives you mind control, incapacitate, um, improve targeting, seize through hindering, seize through characters, and uh, you don't take any damage from mind controlling, so... It's a pretty cool relic. Um, check out her card uh, for what else it does for the character. So it's probably my favorite figure from the set so far, is the Emerald Empress. <clears throat> All right, next up we have uh, Universo, and uh, I also did a preview on this guy on our blog, and uh, I do really like his sculpt he uh isn't as bright as i was expecting him to be but he still turned out really cool looking um with the little splash behind him uh so he's calculator team ability 71 points uh he's got seven range 10 movement with a white power nine attack 17 defense with a white power and three damage shape change uh, so he's one of the legion's bad guys there next up this guy looks fucking cool I'm not even going to deny it. He looks awesome. Um, just check out this cloak. That's just cool. <laughs> All right, so this is Hellspawn. Uh, he doesn't have a damage. Uh, sorry, he doesn't have a team ability. Uh, he can get played at either 200 or 125 points. Um, his pointage is kind of hidden by his cloak, unfortunately. He's got a trait. He's got uh, Indomitable and 7 range. He's got 8 movement with phasing, 11 attack with TK, 17 defense with impervious, and uh, 3 damage with, <coughs> with a white power. Um, I played against him, actually, last night with a, on a sealed, and uh, he, he was gross. He was gross. He, just kinda, he can be given a double power action to switch places with any character on the board. Um, which more often than not got him out of any sticky situation that he may have gotten himself into. So that is Hellspawn, and he's just, he's just so cool looking. So cool looking. <clears throat> Next up, we have Orion. And, um, once again, on his jetpack. Very cool. Uh, so he's got no team ability. He can get played at 150 or 200 points. He's got a trait. He's indomitable with 6 range. He's got 11 movement with a white power. 11 attack with super strength. 18 <clears throat> defense with invincible. And 4 damage. That's pretty much what you expect to see out of, out of Orion. And we have... <clears throat> 
dark side. Boom, boom, boom. I was actually kind of expecting him to be a giant, to be honest. Uh, he's a little bit bigger sculpt-wise than uh, everybody else. And it would probably would have been cool to see a giant, giant dark side. Uh, so he can get played at uh, 200, 300, or 350. Uh, he's got an improvement, a trait. He's got flight, indomitable, 10 range with two, two targets. He's got a uh, white 11, <clears throat> sorry, 11 movement with a white uh, power there. 12 attack with super strength, 19 defense with impervious, and 5 damage with their wit. And of course, this is his uh, 350 point dial that we're looking at right now. So, Dark Side's always been a beast, and he always will be. Um, I can't even say that his skull looks all that lame because he's just kind of, he's imposing. He's an imposing guy. <coughs> and to finish off our rares, we have the Rick Roll of the uh, Hero Clicks Universe Computo. Um, I don't even know what to say about this sculpt. I don't know this character. I want to go look him up now because he's just so ridiculous looking. Um, he's like Herbie on crack. Okay, Computo doesn't have a uh, team ability. He's 144 points. He's got a trait. He's indomitable. Uh, no range. But he's a giant, though, which is interesting that he's a giant in a set that actually has giant sculpts, but he doesn't have a giant sculpt. Um, so he starts off with 4 movement earthbound. 8 attack. 15 defense with a white power. And 0 damage with perplex. A very interesting start click. So he, obviously he doesn't start off giant. And then gets... Yeah, okay, there we go. Uh, so his second click in after his activation click is uh, 8 movement charge, 10 attack with a white power, 17 defense with invincible, and 3 damage without wit. So there you go. There's our killer robot. Alright, and that was the entire CUR, uh, common, uncommon, rare of this set. Um, so we're going to go into the super rares and chases. Now, we don't have all the super rares. We didn't pull them all. Um, but we're also showing you some stuff that we didn't pull in our actual unboxing video. Uh, so to start it off is the Black Witch. Now, she is actually the prime of the White Witch, um, for this super rares. Uh, she's Mystics. Uh, got her pretty cool sculpt there, actually. <clears throat> Sorry, she's Mystics, 170 points. She has a trait. She's got flight. Nine range with uh, double target. She's got 10 movement with phasing, 11 attack with psychic blast, 18 defense with um, invincible, and uh, three damage with reflex. I haven't gotten a chance to really look at her or her dial, but this seems to be the prime that everybody wants. Of course, it's usually the super rare prime that everybody wants. <clears throat> so for our next up on our super rares, this is number uh, 48. Uh, this is Telus, and he is a lizard wearing a bowl. Um, I'm sure it's supposed to be a helmet, but but it looks so out of place on top. It doesn't even look like it fits in with the sculpt. It looks like some like it looks like one of my kids just kind of popped it on top. Um, so <laughs> oh man, okay, so. He's got the Legion of Superheroes team uh, team ability. He's 82 points. He's got a trait, flight, 5 range, um, 9 movement with mind control, 10 attack with uh, TK, 16 defense with uh, a white power, and uh, 2 damage with prob. Um, I don't know. I, they, I'm going to have to look deeper into his dial and his character card, find out what those white powers are. Um, because I don't, I don't know what it is about him. Doesn't seem super rare worthy, to be honest. But there's Telus. Next up, we have number forty-nine. Uh, so we are kind of going in order. Uh, Solomon Grundy. Uh, very, very cool sculpt. Just kind of coming out of the muck there. Um, awesome. I'm sure if he had his, uh, the rest of his legs, he'd be a little bit bigger. Uh, so he has the uh, Batman enemy team ability. He's 200 points, kind of covered by the muck there. Uh, he's got an improvement. He's got a trait. He's got the dolphin symbol for the movement, uh, indomitable, no range. 
Uh, he starts off with a uh, seven movement charge, eleven attack with super uh, super strength, and eighteen defense with impervious, and four damage. And of course, it's Solomon Grundy, so expect him to do a lot of damage and take a lot of punishment. <coughs> and skipping ahead, uh, we have number fifty-one, Tachyon, and that's. It's a lot of orange. It's just a lot of orange. <laughs> I don't know the character from the comics from the New Gods, to be honest, um, but it's a lot of orange. Uh, he is Quintessence, uh, which is Power Cosmic of the DC Universe. He is 175 points. He's got a trait in flight, 7 range with double target. Starts off with uh, 10 movement with a white power, 11 attack with no power, 18 defense with invincible, and <clears throat> three damage with a white power. Tachyon. All right, and skipping ahead again, number 53, we have uh, Mr. Miracle and Big Barda duo. It's pretty cool, um, them kind of like watching each other's back thing, and it's not a reuse sculpt from the actual Mr. Miracle um, earlier in the set. Uh, so they have no team ability, and uh, they can be played at either 175 or 225 points. Uh, they have flight, a trait, the duo attack um, symbol, indomitable, five range. Uh, they start off with 12 movement phasing, 11 attack psychic blast, 18 <clears throat> defense with... Uh, impervious and four damage with a white power um the cool thing about this sculpt uh if you guys notice they have finally upgraded the um peanut bases here to include the oreo dials so it makes them a lot easier to click uh very excited for that much needed improvement on these dials <coughs> Okay, and the last of our super rares that we got is number 54. This is Persuader. I really, really like this sculpt. I really like the swoosh of his um, axe there. It's actually really solid, too. Like, I was expecting this to be all flimsy and stuff. This is really solid sculpt, so they're getting a lot better at doing these translucent parts. Um, so he's got the calculator team ability. He can be played at either 125 or 175 points. Uh, he's got a trait. No range. He's got uh, 9 movement with charge, 12 attack with white power, 17 defense with impervious, and uh, 3 damage with no power. But uh, he is Persuader, so expect him to show up on one of my teams sometime in the future. We'll get a look at what he does. <clears throat> oh, sorry. We have one more super rare. <laughs> Number 56. This guy is huge. He is actually, uh, I don't have Validus, so I'm not sure if he's the biggest guy in the set, um, but also just for scale, like, he is bigger than the other giants that are in this set. Um, he also comes in pieces, because otherwise he wouldn't be able to fit in the box. Um, so, he is, has Mystic Seam Ability. He's got 200 points. <clears throat> he's got a trait. He's got Flight. Uh, indomitable, 8 range, giant damage. Um, so he starts off with uh, 10 movement phasing, 11 attack. <clears throat> 11 attack with a white power, 18 defense with impervious, and 4 damage without wit. Uh, he also, with his trait, allows him to um, <clears throat> change into the LE Mordru, which is... Um, which is actually a regular size person and he can switch between them so pretty cool stuff this guy is huge um and for our three bricks we've managed to get two chases um so these chases are very pretty kind of purpley blue color here they are the servants of darkness um and this one is uh lydia mailer and uh she's pretty Pretty funky looking actually well with the effect of her being black kind of looks reminds me of the witch from left for dead is what i'm trying to say there um she's 79 points she has a trait 
uh, Flight, Indomitable, in zero range. She has a 10 movement white power, uh, 10 attack with super strength, 17 defense with uh, combat reflexes, and 3 three damage with shape change. Now, uh, I did look manage to look at her card and her uh, white movement power for those guys, for those of you that were playing at the time, is very, very similar. Actually, almost an improvement on the Out of Shadows Batman. Um, very, very cool power there. Uh, so that is Lydia. And the other trait that I managed to pull, that you guys saw me excited for, is the uh, Servant of Darkness Superman. So, I mean, the sculpt is really bland with this whole Servant of Darkness being all black and bleh. But it's got a pretty purple base. I don't know. <laughs> uh, so Superman, of course, has a Superman team ability. He's 220 points. He's got a trait. He's got flight. Uh, indomitable, 9 range. He's got 10 movement. Hypersonic, 11 attack, 18 defense with uh, invincible, and 4 damage. So, I mean, it's pretty much what you're expecting to see from a Superman other than him, uh, his sculpt being all gross and dark. But yes, it is Superman. So that was the Legion of Superheroes sculpt review for you guys. Um, and hopefully everybody else is enjoying the set so far.